Hello YouTube and welcome back! In this video we are going to be making a dinner together. You know the drill already, delicious, tasteful, quick and easy to make and everything together. But maybe it's not the best recommendation for dinner, but what can I tell you? I love good food. Okay, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jay from Elena Jay and let's start with baking! Here's the thing, put one pot full of water with a nice amount of salt for our fusilli on the stove. Let's cook it. Then let's make our sauce. Let's preheat this pan. Now let's add uh, two or three tablespoons of olive oil. We are adding our meat. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use about 400 grams of mixed beef. Here is a mix of pork and beef. While is that cooking? We are going to peel off one onion. I hate onion. I was so glad I got you. Okay, let's add freaking onion on our meat. Meat is almost done here at this very moment. Now seasoning, salt by taste. We'll say about one and a half teaspoons. One teaspoon of brown sugar. Pepper by taste. Sweet paprika by taste. We'll say about one, tip, one teaspoon. Here I made mess. As always. And our water is done. I mean, it's ready for this. I'm gonna use today fusilli for my lasagna. Let's cook them for 11 minutes. Please, guys, 11 minutes. I didn't say anything, I didn't say anything. Okay, you've seen it now. I don't like this fat. Usually pork and beef are full of fat, minced meat. And I'm usually using turkey meat for this. But today, like, let's, let's make dinner harder for stomach. Now, peeps, look at here. We're gonna cut fresh parsley. Now, guys, when it's almost done, we're gonna put fresh parsley and a little bit of dry basil, because I don't have a fresh basil. So if you have fresh basil, please use fresh basil. That is maybe too much. <laughs> okay, it's done. Okay. We have four more minutes, so let's continue with second sauce. I know it sounds complicated, complicated, whatever, but it's not. While you're cooking your facilities, these two other sauce are, sauces are done. Let's add about three, let's say three tablespoons of olive oil. On this olive oil, we are adding about one or two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Let's say two full. And we are mixing it. You don't see a thing. And then we are going to add milk. Let's see how much of that. Do you see thickness of that? You are maybe too close, you guys. I don't know. Okay, our facilities are done. You know what? I forgot, guys, to put a little bit of this liquid gold in my first sauce, red. And now I'm adding about 200 grams of Gouda cheese in this sauce. I'm gonna show you thickness of that. No worries, this is how it looks now. Oopsie! <laughs> okay, uh, guys, you can add a little bit of salt in this sauce, in this white sauce. It depends on how much is salt cheese you are using for it. Okay, guys, it takes me about 20 minutes until now to prepare these sauces and these fusilis. So it's easy and fast, believe me, just try to make it. 
But just before we start, turn on your oven on 200 degrees Celsius to preheat it. So I'm gonna start just with this, a little bit of this red sauce. This is really the meal everyone can make. Okay, now we're going with this white sauce. I left some of these cubes of cheese. Now again, <clears throat> our facilities. And the rest of this white sauce. Once again our red sauce. This was the way my mom makes. My mom used to make lasagna when we were children, me and my brother. And now guys on the top of our lasagna we are adding here cheese. Again gouda or however it's called. Okay hey guys, after one pot, a second pot and one pan, and this one a fireproof pan, we are almost done. It's fast and easy to make. So, about 10 to 15 minutes in the oven. Oopsie! Once again, I forgot the pan inside. Oopsie, it happened again. <laughs> it's empty. Tell me you are from Serbia without telling me you are from Serbia. 2.0. Now with this nice casserole. Yeah. And the guys, it's done. I hope you see it well. Because my monitor on the top is dead. Look at this baby. I'm gonna do this just a little bit on the top. It's the best if you let it to cool down, of course. And then cut it and try. But we won't do that because we because we don't do that here. Okay, taste test. Crazy. Let's see what have we done. It's hot AF. Mm. Oh, guys, I'm going to eat. I can tell you how much this recipe is great. Again, maybe it's not the best for dinner but you should try to make this and when you try it let me know in the comments what do you think about that thanks for watching press that sub button and i'm gonna see you next week